Number 27. The military has experimented with lasers that produce very intense light when fluorine combines explosively with hydrogen. What is the balanced equation for this reaction? Okay. Well, let's see. They told us they told us this this cool example, but this equation just comes from fluorine combining explosively aka reacting so all that it is is just fluorine is reacting with hydrogen so basically we have fluorine plus hydrogen and now i know that i have to get something on the other end but now let's write out our reactants right fluorine is an f and hydrogen is h on the periodic table now we just have to plug in the states, right? And say, are these single elements in their natural states, or are they diatomics? Fluorine is one of your diatomics. If I can just maybe quickly write them down here, your diatomics, I believe that there are only seven of them. So I will put what they are and the states that they have to be in when they are in their natural state. Hydrogen is the first one, so H2 exists as a gas. Nitrogen is the next one, that's also a gas. Oxygen is a diatomic, that's a gas. Fluorine is also a diatomic. Chlorine, so now we're going down the halides. Bromine, and this is when you start changing state. Bromine is a liquid, and I should, I should have put a Br2. So that's a star because that one's different. And then iodine is a solid. And then here's the subscribe button if you want to click it. <laughs> it just happened that way. But anyway, these are your seven. So just memorize them and they go in order. If you exclude hydrogen and look at these the way that I wrote them, it goes N O F on the periodic table and then C L B R and I. So I like to just memorize it as NOF down with hydrogen. Those are all your diatomics. So in this case, fluorine and hydrogen are both diatomics. And here are the states. So I'm just going to say it that way. So F2 was a gas and H2 was also a gas, and they now are forming a product. Well, what product are they forming? This is a formation reaction, right? Mainly because I have elements, just all lonely, and they're going to fuse together. They're going to form a compound. And when we form a compound, we use the charges on the periodic table. So... What is hydrogen, right? Hydrogen is in group one, so it's going to be a plus one. Fluorine, if we go through that trend, fluorine is in group 17 or 7A. It's a negative one. And if you, if you don't know what the chart is, go back a couple of questions in this playlist. The, the periodic table is all over and the, 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 um, the states, the oxidation states, that trend you guys should memorize. So that's where I'm getting these from. Okay, so just crisscross these, right? I have one fluorine and I have one hydrogen. So that is my compound. It looks like my compound is just HF. Now in this case, we just need to do the state, right? But in this example, they're saying that, you know, fluorine is com combining explosively with hydrogen, right? Um, you know, experimented with lasers, so this would also give off a, a gas, HF as a, as a gas, mainly because you started off with just gases, so everything happened so quickly in this case, so it will form a gas. Now we just have to make sure that it's balanced. I have two fluorines on my left side, but I only have one fluorine on my product side, so I have to put a coefficient in the front. What coefficient is going to go here to tell me that I have two fluorines? Oh yeah, definitely a two. And I have 
two hydrogens now, and I have two hydrogens. So I'm all balanced. This is your final answer. That's the complete balanced chemical equation. Maybe I'll just put this maybe over here just so that you guys don't get confused. So I'll just box this off. This is the final answer. Okay. Hope for this help, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day out there. I hope you're studying hard. Uh, let me know how you're doing in your classes. Love to hear from you guys, all right? I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.